Joker's final word on Batman. Ben Affleck, is it happening? Is sometimes yeah, we're just beginning the whole. Like, we literally, I finished the movie, this movie, about eight days. So literally, we're only now beginning. So, so are you looking at Ben? Is he going to keep the role? Do you think? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, right now that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Good luck. Yeah, cool. Thank you very much. Yeah. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what else to say, guys. All right, that's Matt Reeves, the director of the Batman, at the premiere of War for the Planet of the Apes, and he says Ben Affleck is his Batman. Okay, all right. I, I don't know what else what else you want me to show you. Um, there's the Ben Affleck comments at uh, Comic Con. He would happily play an ape for Matt Reeves. I mean, I don't know what else you guys want. I mean. I don't know, I'm almost at a loss of words here, okay? If you haven't heard, and if you're watching this, you probably have heard um, or have seen all the articles that uh, Casey Affleck says that Ben Affleck is not playing the Batman. And uh, it's been a running headline, even for most the most credible sites like The Hollywood Reporter, which is a shame because um, if you put it in the context, uh, Casey Affleck was kind of joking about, you know, his brother doing uh, Batman. Here's exactly what he said. So Casey Affleck was on a sports talk uh, show, um, just, you know, having fun, uh, you know, talking movies and whatnot, sports. And he, the conversation moved to uh, Ben Affleck, his brother playing uh, Batman. And uh, Casey Affleck said the following, I thought he was an okay Batman, Affleck joked. No, he was great. He was great. He's a hero, so he had something to channel and work with there. But he's not going to do that movie, I don't think. So when the interviewers, you know, started saying breaking news, Casey Affleck responded immediately by saying, Is that breaking news? I was just kind of making that up. Alright, so let's just say hypothetically, okay, let's just say Casey Affleck wasn't joking. He, he makes a mistake. And he says, Ben Affleck, his brother, is not doing the movie. Who's to say Casey Affleck's not talking about his brother directing the movie? Do you ever think about that? Guys, this is a sports talk show. Meant for fun. I can't believe these sites are... You, that's your source right there? A, a sports talk radio show? WEEI? I don't know what the hell that means or you know who they are, but... Come on, I, I, I don't know, oh my god, I've seen so many uh, news sites, you know, it's, it's confirmed, it's confirmed Ben Affleck is not playing Batman, give the man a break, okay, this, I can't believe, this happened on Ben Affleck's birthday, the man's birthday, he has to go on the internet, if he does go on the internet and read all these sites, all these bloggers, all these, you know, movie cre credible sites and just you know ha I, 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 I can't imagine what it's like for, for Ben Affleck okay all right he has enough problems of his own at home maybe they're fixed I hope he's doing well whatever the hell he's going through and then he has to put up with this and Warner Bros is probably like Ben you're gonna have to put out another statement again because uh, these fucking idiots are or you know putting a bad rap around Justice League as if that movie, you know, can't get a, enough of a break uh, for all it's been through. And now Ben Affleck will likely have to go out and put out another statement and pretty much uh, shoot this thing down. Um, I hope not. I hope we can all just, you know, take this uh, interview for what it's worth, okay? Unless we hear from the studio, from Ben, from Matt Reeves, that he's uh, not going to be um, in any more Batman. He's not going to play Batman anymore after Justice League. Then. I don't know. I'm just. I'm at a loss of words. I can't. I can't explain. It's ridiculous. Honestly. Okay. Uh, I, I, who are you going to believe? Matt Reeves or uh, or this. Uh, or his brother who was clearly joking in, in the interview. I don't know. Just. Ah. Uh, <sighs> Let's start the show. And welcome back to episode 12 of Me, You, and the DCEU. My name is Gio, and thank you so much for joining me. 
Today we have an update on the Cyborg movie. Is it still happening? Maybe not. Last we heard it was in 2020, but no word since. That was back in 2014. And we also have an update on Ben Affleck's Batman and what we can expect differently in Justice League. So we're going to begin with an update on Cyborg and his solo movie, Joe Morton, a.k.a. Miles Dyson from Terminator 2, a.k.a. Cyborg's dad from uh, in Justice League. He talked a little bit about the Cyborg character and how in the movie we can expect him coming to terms with his uh, newfound powers. Uh, for those who don't know, Cyborg's origins, he was a football player, goes through a horrific accident. His dad saves him by combining, combining his body with the mother box. And um, so we'll expect a Cyborg origin in Justice League. But Joe Morton talks about... Um, his involvement in the DCEU beyond Justice, Justice League and if there will in fact be a cyborg movie so Joel Morton said the following it was set up as a three picture deal the first being Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice the second one being Justice League and the third one being the cyborg film so that's how it's been set up but it's all contingent on how these movies do and so far Wonder Woman did really well and we're hoping that Justice League does equally as well so, uh, Joe Morton's right about one thing. This whole universe from here on out depends on how these movies do, which is why WB, DC, they're all going, they're going all in on this Justice League, as you can see in the tagline at the end of the trailer, uh, because they want to see if this movie works, which I think it will work. They want to see if these characters work, which I think these, think these characters will work, especially Aquaman. And um, depending on how the characters and the movies are received, uh, we can hear more about uh, about whether or not we'll in fact get a cyborg movie. I mean, look at Suicide Squad. All right, that movie performed well at the box office. The characters were well received so much that Deadshot was <laughs> announced to get his own solo movie in development. Um, and uh, Margot Robbie was getting her own movie, which we now know is uh, Gotham City Sirens. So it all depends the cyborg movie depends on how well a cyborg is received uh he had that kick-ass moment in the trailer where he uh well it wasn't it wasn't it was badass it was a badass moment he uh tr his hand transforms into like this uh little mechanical thing that can get into the uh what's that thing called that big vehicle that batman vehicle and he starts operating it and uh he overrides alfred's uh controls so that was pretty cool um, but it's, it's a wait and see, all right? Uh, we're going to wait and see how Justice League does, and uh, should Cyborg uh, be well-received? Um, should his outfit look uh, not like a distraction, like how many thought it would be, um, especially after that first trailer? Um, then he should uh, get his own movie. But, all right, so moving on, Entertainment Weekly sat down with Ben Affleck once again. It might actually be the same interview, I think Entertainment Weekly is just smart, and they cut his uh, interview up to little bitty parts and release it little by little. That's the way. How, that's the way you want to do it if you want those clicks. So uh, Ben Affleck uh, talked more about his Batman character and how different it'll be from uh, the Batman that we saw in Batman v Superman. So Ben Affleck said the following: BVS departed a little bit from the traditional Batman. He started out with all this rage directed at Superman because of his co-workers who had died in a fight Superman had with Zod. He was holding on to a lot of anger in a little bit of an irrational way. Whereas he's heroic, he does things in his own way, but he wants to save people, help people. Damn it, I love Ben Affleck's comments, okay? Um, now, you probably already know this, but just in case you forgot, the Batman we saw in Batman v Superman was not Batman at all. And that was intentional. Okay? What do we know about the Batman in that movie? Okay? He started off having to try and save his own people from this uh, godlike creature who, if he wanted to, could burn the whole goddamn place down. And it wouldn't be a thing any of us can do about it. And there wasn't a thing Ben Affleck could do about it except watch. Watch as the building collapsed and he ran towards the building trying to save anyone he could in that excellent shot by Snyder. But uh, anyways, uh, you've probably seen the movie. You know what I'm talking about. So that Batman throughout the whole movie except the last act, uh, the second half of the last act where he starts saving Martha, 
Um, he is pretty much lost in his own hatred. He's willing to do anything to bring an end to this Superman. Um, he's beating the shit out of criminals, branding them uh, and whatnot. And uh, it's been all part of the plan. Now in Justice League, he's kind of uh, found his faith in humanity. He's coming to, uh, you know, uh, he's coming back to his old ways to, you know, being the Batman that he was for 20 plus years. Uh, so much that in the trailer, Commissioner Gordon, J.K. Simmons says, it's good to see you playing well with others again. Um, thinking back to uh, previous comments about Justice League, I it, it will be addressed why batman was the way he was in bvs and uh you can expect him to get some uh get some heat from superman once the two of them uh, reunite uh but uh you know i love ben affleck's comments i think uh it makes sense um he's gonna be more uh heroic he's gonna be more the batman that we come to know the one who doesn't kill as much because batman's always killed in the previous movies, despite what you all say and how much you guys think you know, we watch all the Batman movies, the Michael Keaton, uh, Christian Bale, and all the other ones uh, who I won't mention. And uh, you will see at one point or another, Batman does kill. So um, I don't know what you guys are talking about, but I love Affleck's comments. I can't wait to see uh, a newer, more uh, heroic Batman from Ben Affleck. And, uh, you know, we started off this... Uh, me, you, and the DCEU episode talking about some uh, comments that were blown out of proportion. And uh, I hope Ben Affleck uh, continues to play Batman for many, many movies to come. At least until Flashpoint. Give us one Batman movie with Matt Reeves, Flashpoint, then we'll see what happens afterwards. Or be, do the whole Matt Reeves trilogy. Either one. I just, I, I want Ben Affleck, I want him to stay as Batman, and uh, let's, uh, let's hope he does. So that's it for me, you, in the DCEU episode 12. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. You can uh, subscribe to the me, you, in the DCEU. You can also find full episodes on Apocalyx Movies. Um, so check that out, the YouTube channel Apocalyx Movies. But definitely like and subscribe, me, you, in the DCEU. If you're a fan of the universe, if you're a fan of the movies, uh, you're a fan of Zack Snyder, uh, come on and subscribe. And I'm, I'm going to keep a... Uh, putting these episodes out twice a week i love the dceu it's such an interesting conversation always and um i enjoy doing it that's why i do it so my name is geo and thank you so much for joining me guys you have a good one